Hey, good afternoon. We're back here uh, taking care of the pigs this afternoon. It's a little noisy. Got the tractor going. We got one sack dump. We got another sack dump in this feeder right here. And uh, the pigs are getting their water hole refilled. I'll go show you that. These guys, they think this open gate is an invitation to break out. Curious little dudes. All right. So I'm out here on my own today. It's during the week. And Uncle Muffin has a granddaughter getting married in Hawaii. So he's uh, going to enjoy the uh, islands a little bit. And I'll take care of these pigs. I might get lucky and be able to clear the tailgate, get it high enough to go on the feeder. Let's see. Oh, 
Oh, catastrophe. I forgot to tie the bottom of my bag. Got it out here. The only way I could get it retied is to empty the entire bag, tie it properly, and then hand shovel it back in. Needless, needless to say, my feed store has a nasty voicemail waiting for them. Not cool. All right, we got that uh, nightmare taken care of. Pigs are fed, put away. I stopped at the lake for a minute to uh, decompress. See if I can catch me a dinner fish before I go home. And uh, just kind of enjoy a little bit of time here fishing. So thoughts on uh, pig farming? Uh, my latest thoughts on pig farming, that is. If you're in it to make money, you won't. If you're in it for enjoyment, a lot of work, a lot of satisfaction, and providing meat from your family, then you'll be okay. But as far as making money, I've sold, I raised 10 pigs. I've sold nine of them. Um, I may be able to cover the cost of raising my pig and the processing fee for my pig, but that's about it. Um, by the time you deduct the mileage back and forth, um, I'm probably breaking even or maybe even losing a little bit. So um, I know I've seen a lot of other videos here on YouTube about people that raise pigs and raising them for profit is really, really tough. I don't know uh, where in the states you can do it and make money, but it's definitely not here in Utah because uh, I've tried. But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll see it do out till the bitter end. We've got probably five that are 300 pounds out there right now that are ready. Um, those are Uncle Muffins. Um, I think he's going to butcher a couple of them out there. Maybe he's got a couple he's going to process. So I don't know. And then I have two customers that are going to come out later in the year when it cools down and they're going to butcher their own. And there, there too will be a couple of those smaller ones that you saw earlier. That's that younger batch. So I, I got two different batches of feeder pigs this year. And it's obvious in the size right now. Um, and there are a couple that are about a month behind the other ones. So anyway, we're going to sit here and enjoy the lake. Contemplate on uh, our pig raising adventure up to this point this year. Determine, determine whether or not we're going to do it next year or if, uh, if we do, how many we're going to raise. I do have people coming out of the woodwork that want pigs. I cannot uh, supply enough to meet demand, but it, the, the market isn't such where I could raise the price and, and make money and still have those customers. So, um, you know, I don't know. We're going to think about it. We're going to let the snow fly. Uh, let the spring thaw happen here next year and then we'll make our final decision what we're going to do. As for now, towards the tail end of the season, I, I don't think I'm going to do it, but you never know. Anyway, thanks for coming along today. Hope it wasn't too much of a downer for you to, to uh, see me get upset at that spilled bag of feed and, and just the work it takes. I was by myself today, like I said, and so it was a lot more work than usual. And as always, there's always something to fix. Those little monsters, they tear things up so quick, you, you just about have to follow right behind them and uh, in their wake and, and fix things as they break them. But they're fixed. We're ready to go for another couple of weeks and we'll uh, see how that goes. Anyway, until next time, take care of yourselves. Thanks for coming along and visiting me here. Um, don't know how long I'm going to do this YouTube thing, um, but I've been at it two years now. Um, haven't figured out the algorithm. I don't know how to how to get my videos in front of people's faces, but we'll keep trying for a little while. Um, they say you just keep posting, keep posting. Eventually, it happens. But I don't know if there's any wisdom in that statement. But for today, it's been a good day. We're at the end of it. We're enjoying ourselves, and that's the important thing. So take care of yourselves and hope you're finding success in whatever you're raising this year. And then we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.
caught a dinner fish. Let's see if I can. The camera works a little shaky. Get my dinner first. There he is. That's a nice little rainbow. Dinner disturbed. Take a nip out of his gill at some point. Huh. Anyway, yeah, there's dinner. All right. Well, let's pack up and go home. Let's sense catch more than you can eat. <laughs>